Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Master Computer Science Subjects. This video is a continuation of my previous video, Role of Lexical Analyzer. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is a token, what is a pattern and lexemes with some examples. Right. Look into this diagram. There are a group of lexemes. The lexemes, these are the examples for the lexemes. Float, if, count, else, some numeric constant is it, anything uh, enclosed within the double quote and there it's a plus operator it is less than or equal to some comparative operator is there some examples for lexemes are given and these lexemes one by one one by one are fed into the pattern matcher so this pattern matcher is a software module which matches the pattern of a token against this lexeme and it identifies or it tags against this lexeme as keyword, identifier, literal, etc. For example, as given in the diagram, the first lexeme is float. When this float is fed into this pattern matcher, it will recognize this float as a keyword. Then the second lexeme is if. So if would be recognized as a keyword. Then the third lexeme is count. <coughs> count is a name of a variable. So this pattern matcher would be recognizing it as an identifier. Else is one of the lexemes. This else, once it is fed into the pattern matcher, it will be recognized as a keyword. Next, 6.02E23 is one of the lexemes. It would be recognized by this pattern matcher as a constant. 6.02E23. So value is a name or a literal or a string which is enclosed within the double quote. Once this is being given as input to this pattern matcher, it would be recognized as a literal. Next, plus is there. Plus is identified or recognized as operator. Similarly, less than or equal to is also operator. Right. This only be discussed as a task of the lexical analyzer. What lexical analyzer does? It reads lexeme by lexeme and recognizes the lexeme what token it is. So that only I have given here as a pictorial representation. Now we understand what is lexeme. Lexeme is a sequence of characters or it is a basic meaningful unit of a program. Okay, what is a pattern? Pattern is nothing but a description of a token. Pattern describes how a token must be, how a keyword must be, how an identifier must be, how a literal must be. So pattern is nothing but the description of a token. What is a token? A token is a pair of information consisting of a token name and an optional attribute value. Okay, now example is given. Suppose... This is a statement. Imagine that this is being read by the lexical analyzer. Lexical analyzer reads character by character. Once it reads printf, it could recognize this as an identifier. Let me write it in a short name id. Next, there is a open parenthesis, there is a close parenthesis and there is a semicolon. This open parenthesis, close parenthesis and semicolon can be recognized as a special symbol or special character by Lex. Then this portion, whatever is enclosed within the double quote can be recognized as literal by lexical analyzer. Then once again, the score is a name of a variable. So this would be recognized as identifier. This is the way lexical analyzer works. Okay. Now, in general, most of the programming languages cover the following classes of tokens. Let us see. There might be one token for every keyword. For every keyword, there is one token. And the second step, you see, one token for all the identifiers. Recognizing all the identifiers, there is only one token. But for every keyword, there is a token. Okay, now let's move on to the next thing. There is a token for operators. Either individually there will be a token or class-wise there will be a token for operators. For example, plus, minus, star, slash, 
uh, slash can be recognized as arithmetic operator token then less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to equal to equal to we know these are all the set of comparison operators for this set of operators there might be a token right then one or more token representing constants one or more token means one token might be for numerals another token might be for string constants then last but not the least tokens for punctuation symbols such as left parenthesis right parenthesis comma semicolon etc so most of the programming languages creates the tokens for all these uh, meaningful units for all these lexemes for every keyword there is a token for all the identifiers there is one token and for operators there is a token for constants there is a token and for special symbols and punctuation symbols there is a token right now let us discuss about what are the attributes of token when more than one lexeme matches a pattern for example 2 is a number 25 is also a number 60 is also a number all these are lexemes all these lexemes match against the token number or we can give the token name as numeric constant also so there is more than one lexeme matching a particular token so there is a need for lexical analyzer apart from the token name it must provide the additional information about the lexeme to the other phases of the compiler so it is easy for the other phases of the compiler to recognize or to get to know about the particular lexeme so let me repeat again when more than one lexeme matches against a particular token it is a responsibility of the lexical analyzer to provide extra or additional information about that particular lexeme to the other phases of the compiler we can call this additional information as attributes we can call this additional information whatever is provided by lex to the other phases of the compiler is attribute for example if a lexeme is recognized as identifier so the token name might be id which is given by the compiler apart from the token name it will give extra information like what is its type what is the scope of the identifier what is its location etc okay now lastly we see one example this is a statement how the lexical analyzer converts this statement into a stream of tokens see this e m c are nothing but identifiers so we know that a token is a pair of information so id and uh, there will be a pointer to the symbol e so this is a pair of information lex generates it says that e is an identifier and the location of the e is the second information of this token why the location because this e information is available in the symbol table equal to is assignment operator so this is an extra token created by the lex m is an identifier we know that so identifier and a pointer to m is created then star is multiplication operator it's a token what is an extra token it creates it should create a token for this identifier c so identifier and there is a pointer to c which is available in the symbol table next it is exponential operator it is c to the power of 2 so the token name might be exponential operator like this then what is the last token it is a numeric constant so the lexical analyzer may create information like this the name of the token is number and its value is 2 so these many tokens is created by the lexical analyzer after reading this statement from the source program uh, e is an identifier and there is a pointer to e equal to is an assignment operator m is an identifier pointer to m 
then multiplication operator identifier for c exponential operator and finally there is a token for the number whose value is 2 i hope you have got an idea about what is a token pattern and lexeme uh, let's meet in the next video before that i request you all to subscribe to my channel share with your friends also comment thank you